Good morning, my friends. How is everybody doing this Friday the 13th morning? It's almost afternoon. It could be afternoon. I haven't, I don't have my watch on. It was uh, close to noon when I went through the living room back to the bedroom a while ago. So probably good afternoon or whenever you're watching this. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, I'm a new channel. Uh, featuring crochet and, and some knit. I haven't been knitting lately, but hope to be doing that soon. There's just so much I want to do, right? I mean, excuse me, my eye itches. There's so much I want to do, probably that we all want to do, and you can't do it all. But I have started something new, and I wanted to come on here today. That's really the focus of this video. But I do have a few other things, and I want to chat and visit with you guys. Uh, but first of all, I want to talk about my new endeavor of Amigurumi's. Or it's Omigurumi, Amigurumi, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's the little animals that you make with crochet. And I uh, told you all about it a couple of, well, actually the last video. And I haven't made a video since then because I've been busy trying to make an elephant. <laughs> and I thought I would have him presentable by now. Well, he's a little presentable, but he's not completed. So let me show you first with the book, again, that I'm using. It's the Crochet Cute Critters. It's by Zara Zimmerman. And I have to say, this is a very straightforward, easy book for beginners. I am a beginner. Actually, I'm a beginner crocheter as well. So I needed something that I could understand and it would make sense and I could follow and it would turn out, hopefully, <laughs> something like the pictures. And I'm very critical of this elephant. I didn't do a very good job on him. And it isn't this book's fault. It's my own fault. But I'm learning as I go and... I'm kind of embarrassed to show him, but I'm going to show him anyway. Okay, let me turn you over. Let me get him. I'm going to set him right here and turn this camera around. And I hope you can see him. Maybe he needs more light. Can you all see him? Does that light need to be moved around? He looks dark. Can you see the elephant? The elephant. I'm hoping you can. So that's my elephant. And I don't have his ears on yet. But I do have his arms and his legs. And I put this arm on upside down. As you can see, there's a little seam right here. And I put this leg on or crocheted it where the seam was showing. And it said to Try to make a match, and that's what I was doing. So I have a seam here and a seam here and a seam on his arm. This arm looks fairly, fairly right. Well, yeah, fairly right. This one does. His trunk. I have had to take this thing off. This is the third time I attached it this morning because the first time it was crooked. I had to rip it out. I thought it was straight. And the second time, it was too far down here. It needed to be up higher to his eyes. When that book said, uh, put it right under his eyes, they weren't joking. <laughs> they meant that. Because it didn't really look like an elephant. But Okay, so I think I got his nose where it should go. And now I'm going to put... I haven't made the ears yet. Now I'm going to make the ears for each side of his little head. And I'm going to... And he'll be completed. And I would like to get a little bow tie to put right there. I think that would be cute. But my husband doesn't wear bow ties. So I have no bow ties. So I don't know. Maybe at the Goodwill I might could find one. I'm not sure. But anyway, here he is. I'm disappointed in him. I have to tell you folks. Let me turn him around. <clears throat> That's his back. I got the seams correct back there. That's where they're supposed to go. But... He does sit up all right. Well, I have that part right. And these are some uh, 
Here they are. I want to show you. <clears throat> these are my safety eyes that I got, and I got these from Amazon. It's got noses and I guess noses and eyes is all it's got. It's got red, a red, uh, a red rim around the eye, blue, green, and that's the only colors I have. This is a nose. This is a red nose, but. Of course, he's got his nose, right? He don't need a nose, and he don't need that. his mouth under here. I don't guess it's supposed to show anyway. So, there it is. <laughs> it could be better, and next time I'll do one, I think it will be better. I didn't realize when I first did it, you have to take your, you have to take your needle and your yarn and sew the the, the openings up. One of my sweet subscribers told me about that. Thank you, Edna. <laughs> so I went back and looked at the instructions and sure enough, that's what I was supposed to do. So I appreciate any help I can get. So let me, let me set him back there. He still has work and hopefully when the sun goes down tonight, <laughs> I'll have Edward finished. And when I do, I'll show you. Okay, so anyway, I've had a lot of allergies this fall. I have fall allergies. So I've had a headache almost every day until this morning. And I woke up with no headache. And I've been a little dizzy because I think I have fluid around my ears. In my ears, not around them. <laughs> Behind my eardrums, I think. So I've been a little dizzy and I hadn't felt real well. So, but, but, uh, Besides working on Edward the Elephant, I just didn't feel good yesterday, so I didn't put out a video. We didn't do anything. We went to Lubbock on, well, I think I already told y'all that. Yeah, I've, I've talked to y'all since we went to Lubbock this week. And we need to go up to the feed store. We need some chicken food and some dog food today. And uh, so we got to do that later. So we will. And uh, this, I've already showed y'all my new squares for my granny pullover. That's the first one. And that is the butterfly yarn from Hobie. I believe the number is, hmm. I'll put it in the description. I don't remember what the number is. I think it's number nine, but I, I I don't want to tell the story. And then over here, I'm working on my second panel. And I'm already to the cranberry. Barely. Barely to the cranberry. The cranberry started right here, and I've gone around this way with it. And this is what I have left of the cranberry on that uh, skein of yarn. And then I'm going to go to the middle pull of the other one, which is a I don't think it's white, but it's a it's a cream. It's a cream with a pink pink tinge on it. So that that's what'll end up on the on the end of it. Oh, I want to go back to the the amigurumi, and I want to show you the yarn I used. This is the Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee Soft and Chunky Low Peel Fiber, and I was looking at this, and this yarn, the color of it is French Lilac. And it recommends, I was just looking at that. Oh, right here. It recommends a 10 and a half crochet hook. Folks, I used a five because it was thick and chunky. I was, my, I was wanting to make sure that it was tight enough. So I started out with this, with this uh, Susan Bates crochet hook, the number five. And it was splitting my yarn, okay? So then I went to the tulip, number five, and it wasn't doing a whole lot better. And then I pulled out my heavy duty furls, size five Odyssey hook. And it worked like a dream. And this, this is heavy in the handle. They say it's balanced and I guess it is, but still it's, it's a heavy hook. But I didn't notice it when I noticed it bothered me when I was doing the elephant. 
but it made the stitches, it made everything flow better. So I think for all my gurumis, I have a four, a five, and a, a four, a four and a half, a five, and a five and a half in this Odyssey. So I think I'll be using this hook. And folks, do you think, I know this video is all over the place. Do you think he looks um, uh, like he's run amok because of this yarn, the thick yarn? I used it because I had it left and it looked like the color of an elephant. That's the only reason I used it. But I think because it was chunky, it just, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Whoops. And that book recommends a four weight yarn anyway. So, okay. I wanted to tell you about that. And I wanted to tell you about this Odyssey hook. Yeah, they're expensive on furls, but yeah, they're good ones. They don't make these anymore. Yeah. Uh, the company was having trouble keeping these in stock. So they just quit dealing with the company that, that supplied these. And I don't know if they're coming back or who's going to make them or if they ever will make them again. So if anybody has a six Odyssey Huck out there in YouTube land, I would be interested in buying it from you. So hit me up if you have one that you don't want or you have an extra one. I'll certainly, I'll certainly buy it from you. Okay, let me know. So I'm going to put that over there. Okay, Pi, now, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought I would crochet a little and chat about what's been going on around here. Which, besides the, ama, besides the, I forgot which hook to pick up. The Amigurumi, I haven't really been doing a whole lot. Uh, Pi, you're going to have to get off my yarn. Oh, okay. So, I've been up since, well, I didn't get up till 8 this morning. My husband, I forgot what I'm doing here. Uh, my husband, I woke up at 1040. I went to bed a few hours before that, and I woke up at 1040 wide awake, and he was wide awake watching his tablet. I went back to sleep, and I woke up again at 120, and he was awake, and looking at his tablet and then the cat started I didn't realize they were out of food in the in the kitchen if those cats get out of food in the middle of the night they wake me up so they were purring and pawing at me so I got up and put them out some food then he got up and he said I think I'll have a bowl of cereal <clears throat> so what did I do <laughs> I got up and had me a bowl of cereal not the sugary kind. I make mine with Splenda. And it's the Crispix, and he eats Rice Krispies with Splenda when he does eat cereal. Which, I didn't need to be eating something at 2 o'clock in the morning. What? So I came in, the, in here in my little craft room, and I thought, oh, boy, I'm tired. So I, I looked on the... On the YouTube a little bit. I didn't watch any videos. I was just looking. And of course, I wasn't going to make a video at half asleep at 2 o'clock in the morning. But I did want to get one out today because I haven't talked to y'all in a few days and I don't like that. I like to check in with you and kind of show you what's going on. I'm still a crocheting fool over here. I just haven't, didn't feel myself yesterday. And I know we all have days like that. All of us. And like I said, I haven't promised a video every day. I've just been doing them. I've just been doing them when I have something to do. When I was yarnless, I was getting a little worried. Uh, what do y'all think about... Could I make those amigurumis? If I can make it with five-weight yarn when it's supposed to be four... I'm thinking about make, trying a three-weight yarn. Have y'all ever done that? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. People that know more about it than I do, I know nothing about it, okay? And my first book, my first project, no, I don't know anything about it. That is a good book, though, but you got to make sure you read every line in that book. It's very easy. 
And I have found another book that I have put in my cart off of Amazon. And it's another book about some cutest little critters, some pigs and stuff. Of course, I'm not going to get it anytime soon. I just put it in my cart so I'd be able to find it again easier. Probably by the time I decide to get it, they won't have it anymore. There was a book, an Amagurumi book called... I don't know, something about creatures of the sea. Uh, I don't know. But Llama Mama was was showing it on her channel, and I was going to look that look at that book and possibly get that, but when I looked last week, they didn't even have it. It didn't even say back ordered. I just couldn't find it. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I guess books come and go. I really wasn't interested in even trying to do those till recently. I really didn't think, folks, I could do it. But I'm feeling better about it. I don't feel great about it, okay? But I think it might be something I can, I can conquer. And besides the Amagurumi, when I finish his little ears, and I finish this granny pullover, I already have one made. I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the future. <sighs> I don't know. I'll come up with something. I have yarn now to come up with it. Something with it. So. I still haven't used anything out of that Premier Yarn order that I got. I just have been working on that elephant. And when I wasn't working on the elephant, which... I've been doing that for two days, an elephant, and that's it. <laughs> That'll tell you, I haven't got very far. Oh, and when I went to Hobby Lobby, I got two bags of polyfill. Well, when I got ready to stuff the elephant, I went in the kitchen and rummaged through the drawers and found some chopsticks because I knew I was going to have to have something to stuff that polyfill down in there. So I found me a set of chopsticks. I came back in here. I opened the bag and I said, what is that? It was a punch down wooden dowel that they gave you in the bag. I didn't know that. So that was a pleasant surprise. So I didn't have to use the chopsticks. I just used that. And it worked great. Uh oh. So I didn't know they gave you that. I don't think I've ever, I've never bought a bag of polyfill. I might have. I mean, I'm 72. It's possible. <laughs> I don't remember it. You know, I hate to say I never have. Which I could have. But I've never... I might have stuffed a pillow. I, I think I did have some polyfill. I may, I know what I did. Around here with me. I know what happened. I was making picture frames out of a, a, a yarn that had the antique look. And one of them was an oval, and you had to stuff the, the frame with, with polyfill. But, folks, that was back when I was in my t early 30s. I couldn't remember that. It just came to me. It just came to me, okay? So, so I want to invite anybody that hasn't joined my, uh, my subscriber list to hit the subscribe button if you like my content. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I really love my comments. I met so many fine people out there, and I want to thank my new subscribers and my recent comments. I love them, and I read them all, and I try to answer every one of them. Kind of get to know you, and I hope you can get to know me a little bit on these videos I've been putting out. So I'm not going to make this real long today. I just wanted to show you the elephant and get your opinion on it i know it is not perfect <laughs> and i know he looks a little raggedy at the edges but i'm learning and i feel like what i have learned with edward the elephant i'll be able to do the next one a little bit better and i do think he looks a bit raggedy because of the type of yarn i used but leave me a comment and see if you think that's why he looks like that <laughs> 
it won't hurt my feelings. Just tell me what you think. I, I know I need help. <laughs> so help me if you can. Uh, and I'm coming to you. I forgot to tell you. I'm coming to you from my little corner of the bedroom out here in West Texas. Not too far from Lubbock. And I love all of y'all. God bless you. Keep you safe. And I will catch you on the video on YouTube next time. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, folks. Love you. Bye now. It's a wrap.